Okay, I want to uh, point out again for the people who just might have joined us. For the people who might just have tuned in, uh, a little word of warning here. Uh, if you have a queasy stomach, the sight of blood bothers you, we suggest you don't watch this. This is James Randi, who's going to give you an idea of what the psychic surgeons in the Philippines actually do on people who go down there and pay good money. You all set? Indeed. All right, all right. we have our patient. It's all yours. Okay. Now, this is the time to look away if you, if you need to, because it's going to get a little gory from now on. The psychic surgeons of the Philippines are, um, how are you feeling, Sandy? Okay? Everything's fine. They're pretty heartless folks. They just don't much care for the feelings of people. They don't certainly care for their health at all. And, of course, they're not in any way trained to do this sort of thing. They just put on an act as if they are trained. Now, what you're about to see is a barehanded operation which appears to take place by actually penetrating the body. Believe me, what you're seeing is strictly special effects, it's sleight of hand, and nothing more. And this is the way it looks. Anything that gets down there, we don't get it on your trousers if we can help it. Um, let me see. And worse. A second now. It, ah. <laughs> oh, no, that doesn't come out. That's a bit better, just a second, just one second now. Maybe better for you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel any better? The strange thing is, after this operation is all over, now mind you folks, I want you to bear in mind, please, that people are showing this as if it were really serious, as if it actually did take place, and as if surgery were really performed. People do this, they go to the Philippines, they spend their money, and they frankly return home, in most cases, to die. It's a little bit funny to watch it, perhaps, and you say, gee, I know it's play acting, but it's not play acting when they go by the tens of thousands every year. Sanford, I want to thank you for being a wonderful volunteer. I think you deserve a round of applause for that. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. I'll get you away. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. James Randall.